orange, one of my favorite fruits, and it's uh, extremely nice. It's, it's orange, it's the color, it's like lava orange, and it's filled with this sweet energy inside, and it's so easy to split, like that. This year has been an eye-opener for me and it's because of this car, or should I say this beauty, the Cayman 718. I started this year with, uh, let's say, low expectation on this model. But um, the design changes that was made on the 718 from the 981 Cayman made me more interested. The last changes, changes the lines to perfection. And the engine of this car was actually the last change I needed to distinguish the 718 or the box door Cayman from the 911. Previously, the 981 was always, for me at least, compared with the 911, being its little brother. But with the engine change, it created its own breathe with the heritage from the four cylinder engines in Porsche history, creating the passion I needed. And uh, finally, I could experience and, and focus on the art of driving the Cayman instead of comparing it to its bigger brother 911 and instead just have the pleasure of driving. I try, I try and then I mess it up. That's the story of my life. Say yes, say yes, I'm at the coffee shop Where we used to go at night I guess I couldn't see Just what you meant to me Get off the phone and sober up Because it's you and me now So let's take a look at the S model To see what you get extra with the letter you will get 50 horsepower extra, you will get 40 newton meter of torque, and you will save a half a second up to 100 kilometers an hour. And you will also get 20 uh, uh, kilos of extra weight, twin pipe exhaust, and uh, yeah, the rev meter is in silver. Finally, you will get 19 inch wheels that you immediately will option out for the benefit of the 20 inch range. And last but not least, you will get red calipers that will totally destroy the look and feel of this beautiful lava orange color. And what's most annoying is that it is just the colors that are changed on the S model. The brakes are the exact same specification as in the base Cayman. 12,000 euro. That's what you have to pay extra to get the S badge behind you. And I'm not sure if that's worth the money for, let's say, a large displacement in the engine. Remember, the thrust of this engine, both the two liters and the two and a half liter, you will have from 2,000 revs, actually a, a little bit less. And I cannot motivate the 12,000 euros for the extra thrust that two and a half liter engine gives you. No, I would stick with the base model. But if you look at the second-hand market of the 718, at least in Sweden, you will actually find out that um, the S model upholds the value a bit better than the base model for reason that I cannot explain. If I were to option out to buy a, a brand new 718, I would rather go 
to the base model. And then we can discuss the value of the GTS. But if we take the depreciation of the value of the car in consideration, I believe the GTS model will be the winner of all three of them. It's all right, it's okay. I don't need you anyway. So let me be, I'm doing fine. Don't you waste your precious time. I don't want, want you back. No, you hurt, hurt me bad. It's all right, it's okay. Right. The 718 Cayman S is a fast car and remember on the racetrack I did complain about the lack of power when I drove the base model. The interior of the 718 are at the same top level as all other Porsche models. Option out your 718 will take time since the list have a tendency to grow. But take your time and make sure you get your touch and feel of the car. It is actually not easy to specify a Porsche. We don't have packages like the common brand has. And I think that is a good thing because each model could be created in such an individual basis that makes them very attractive. It could really be your car. This car isn't equipped with sensors, parking sensors. And uh, I think that's okay. I mean, the looks are better without the sensors. If the rear axle steering is mandatory on the 991.2, it should be mandatory to have the PTV system fitted in the 718. So it connects the rear axle with a slip differential and when you turn into the corner they will actually apply a smooth braking on the inner wheel making the outer wheel going a bit faster and it will give well the car will be much more agile in the corner. It will also give you a better traction on slippery surface and I know for sure because I've been driven the 718 GTS and it's all of them are standard with PTV. And then we have options that are, let's say, attractive, but I'm not sure if I would option them out. It is the um, door seal that are lighted. I'm having difficulty on to, to decide if I love them, hate them, or nice to have. But... Um, Yesterday, when it was dark and I opened the door, it was definitely attractive. On the B road, I would say that um, I cannot motivate the 12,000 euros. Yes, the two and a half liter engine definitely has more thrust into it than the regular. And uh, the brakes, uh, since they are the same between the cars, I, they are, as usual, really good. I think you don't need huge brakes on, on the 718. It's a light idle car and on the B roads and, and also I have, I have felt it when I was on the track. I didn't miss out on the braking performance whatsoever. So for that matter, I don't think that you need to put bigger brakes on the 718. What a spectacular year. It has been for me discovering the 718 range. Starting out this year with a lot of suspicion and low, low, low expectation, I said, let's take it for a spin. And I end up at a point where I look at the beautiful 911. And if it does not have the rear axle steering, I would jump in to the 718 from a B-road drive. Mm -hmm. 